Hoi guys, and welcome back to more Elden Ring. So, first and foremost, we are going to be starting off at the Lyurnia Lakeshore. But, before I even do that, I'm going to go see if Rodrika is ready for me. I highly doubt it, but we're going to go see if Rodrika is ready to uh, level up me ashes. I want my ashes to level. I want to level my ashes, as they say. Nope, she is... Oh, right, I didn't do this. Oh, my God. I, I didn't do the full dialogue between them. Oh, my God. Okay, now we should be able to do a couple things, come back, and we should be good. Okay, so uh, there, she's going to go do some stuff with that. But we're going to go back to the Lyurnia Lakeshore because we're going to go and do the ruins. Um, the ruins though do not have a boss directly inside, but there's a bit of a nuisance on the outside. Um, actually, you know what? While we're right here, I'm gonna get this lantern, and then you can actually put the lantern right there, and it actually doesn't like weigh anything. So if you want to light it up you can it's very nice so in the in the last episode we kind of went through a lot of the Lyurnia area we went through a lot of the important stuff we did a couple of the catacombs we went over some of the important areas we got the glintstone key to be able to enter the academy itself and now we're essentially set up before even stepping foot in the academy or in the get in the town itself we're essentially set up and ready to go into into the academy as is so over there is the ruins ow really it didn't disappear Rude. Over there is the ruins. And, uh... In the ruins, there is a very, very obnoxious enemy. I highly... S so that teleporter right there... If... Uh, 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 me in the future. Zoom! Circle. Now, amplify. I don't know how you would amplify it more, but do it anyway! That right there is a teleporter, right? That is going to take us to the gates of the academy where we need to go without having to fight anything. Um, but we don't want to take that just yet because if you see where that enemy is right there, right in front of it, there's going to be another big enemy that comes around and that big enemy is going to be obnoxious. And as with all ruins, ow, there is a, a lower portion of the ruins back down in this section where we can go down into here this looks like it would be a boss room i bet you they wanted to make it a boss room but then they were like no the the noxious enemy outside was a, bad enough as is but that wraith calling bell it actually is the thing that you hear those riders do all the time. The da -da -da -ding, da -da -da -ding, constantly. And then the the gold and black mist comes flying at you. Yeah, that's that. So you can do it yourself now. So now that we have that. Oh, she's, she's active. Get the smithing stone. Go into here, travel to another location as soon as you can because she sucks. What is this? Okay. Good for you, phone. Why are you showing me this? I don't know. 
So now we are all the way here. And since we got the map of this area, we can actually see where we are. But you can see we went from here to here instantaneously, which is amazing. Um, this is the Academy Gate Town. If you remember, right about here was where we got the Golden Seed. If we were going to infiltrate solo, we were going to have to come up these ramparts right here. Fight. Whoopsie fight through the town right here all the way up into this section right here where we're standing then there is a grace right up here so we literally have to do nothing and because 90 percent of the time yeah you, ha you happen upon a teleporter like that because i think there's like four of them you end up getting the meeting place map and it that meeting place map will end up being right here and then that shows you like where it is on the thing and you're supposed to look on your map and it's just this right here where we marked and obviously you don't need it to be able to get the key so you just examine the seal and you go in don't know if we did a thing I think we did if we didn't then we're gonna go back and do something real quick in uh the other in in Limgrave we do have some unfinished business to attend to in Limgrave itself we have another catacombs that we didn't go through before as well as a uh a ruins that we never went through but we'll get to that here soon there's obviously a grace right here then if you really want to you can take this right here this right here will travel you out of this section and it, it's nice to do uh i do it with or i've done it with every character because there's a lost grace right on the other side and if you look we're across this long bridge and we're over here and then you just get this lost grace right here. And then you have a you have a ground to start exploring this northern region, including this area right here, which is gonna have a catacomb that we'll get to in the future and everything else. So it's it's just good to have for in the future. So something something to do, something to look into. Uh, just right off the bat it doesn't hurt it takes an extra like minute 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 and a half of your time to just load in there load back whatever no big deal but the important thing let's see if we did it we did not okay so we're gonna have to go back and do some unfinished business in Limgrave here in a minute but down here there is a golden seed yay so we're gonna have to travel back to Limgrave what we're actually gonna do we're actually going to go into the Murkwater cave Always remember to stretch, guys. Especially if you're doing long, long recording sessions or gaming sessions or anything that you guys are doing. Stretch, you know. Have, uh, have health checks. Perfect time to do the lantern. Look at how good that does. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, anyway, so... What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to the end down here. And I'm only doing this because I I haven't gotten to the end of the storyline for this quest yet, but I think it's gonna be important. You talk to this guy, I'm not gonna go through it all in uh in dialogue, but yeah okay so once he says perhaps we'll meet again if fate permits then you know you've talked to him sufficiently uh 
then we'll be able to go back to the main academy gate. But first, we have some unfinished business. There are some ruins here that I said we need to go check out. So we're going to go over and check them out real quick. Uh, just, to, just to button things up, I think we'll do the other catacombs uh, later. I don't want to bog this one down. I want to keep this one mostly to the academy. This ruins is important to this episode because in these ruins these ruins here will actually have new spells for my astrologers friends my fellow astrologers you will finally have new spells available to you after clearing these ruins uh right come down i'm gonna remember where the down is i just always teleport into them it's like near the big flower i think it's right here yeah it is a it is a minor boss battle you need to pump your heads Ouch. 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 And Pumpker Heads is dead. He's obviously an early area like mini boss so if he gives you trouble i worry but you know it, listen it's just take your time with them everybody goes at their own pace but behind the store is this chick and she's selling you tell her that you want to learn sorcery you want to learn yes refuse anticipate uh then you can give her scrolls and stuff like that and then you can actually learn new spells so that's actually really really nice very important especially for going into the academy here which i've found that a lot of the academy people they actually are a little bit more resistant to spells so if you have the ability to melee or do something less spell oriented i would suggest it if not then just prepare to take a little bit more time through here but anyway up we go um so in the academy the academy actually houses the first fog walls that you come to storyline wise unless you're like you're following these guys precisely and you went to the other catacombs first uh, gotta love the old gandalfs here So this room is Chaos Incarnate. I highly, 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 highly suggest just running through, coming over to here, and grabbing this grace right here. Because you probably will die a couple of times. Like so. Because these, these guys are called marionettes. And there is something that goes super crazy in them once they get down to half health for some crazy reason. And especially if you're like a melee character trying to face the, the sword ones or the spear ones, because they're sword, spear, and arrows. Uh, they, they are like, just, they go insane and it's horrible to try to face them.
Okay, I think I think we got the attention of this guy. See, if you do this, now you can just take your time going through here. Let him turn around. No, oh, I got it. Got it in time. Uh, so they actually hang up on the walls. So you can see one right there. He's not coming down yet. That ladder will come into play later. You gonna come down? No? Okay, so... Here we go. There's that one. Your first illusion, uh, illusory wall is right here. Hi -ya! You get a rune arc. Sneaky little cheeky boys. You know what I mean? I wonder if I could jump and hit him. Oh, well, I don't have to. He dropped down himself. Uh, so... The academy generally doesn't take too, too terribly long if you know where you're going. Um, I actually know most of the academy. I've run through it quite a few times now. Thanks to my multiple characters. And then I also helped quite a few friends through the academy at this point. Uh, this area is rather interesting. Oh god, I'm getting hugged. If these guys hug you, they actually suck both health and FP, so be careful. Okay. You remember that thing that I said about being careful? They have, like, one move, and that's hugs. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop. Okay, well, where did you come from, and why? Just go uh, way. Jesus. Remember how I said I uh, can get through this pretty easily? All right, there's an item here. The Grace Mimic. I don't know if it's really all that important. I'd ne I've never used a Grace Mimic before, so I couldn't really tell you. I'm just going to mostly dodge these guys, I think. Come here. Yo! Yo! Die. Uh, and then if you come down here, wrap around here... There's another item down in this section here. This, The Academy has so many, like, secret items and secret areas. It's crazy. Alright, so we got that one. Then next up... Got another item over there, as you can see. And then I think there was actually an item over here or something. No, maybe not. Okay. So this is where things get a little tricky. I would more suggest you guys try to kill these guys, but eh, who, who kills people? So you come over here, you're going to get cut off. Come down here. Oh, God lag. Come down to the left here. Because there's these two guys. And then you get their ashes. Because that's the normal thing to get whenever you kill these guys. Uh, or if you're lucky like me, uh, you get their ashes and then their armor. Oh, there's a pupper. I forgot about that. Where's the pupper? There it is. There's, I think, a grand total of three puppers up here. Woo! Item right here. Be careful. That's a, that's a heckin' droppy. If you're not careful.
Oh, okay. Almost bit the biscuit there. All right, so we got that. Right. And then there's another pupper. But if we come over to here, we can drop off here. Kill those guys. Kill this guy, because he's kind of a loner, and I kind of feel bad for him. You know, like, listen. Go... Go be with some friends or something. I don't know. But... Take these guys down. Take down the, the little ones here first, because that guy is bigger. Okay. Get pushed off. Get pushed off. Hey, he got pushed off. And then this armor set right here is actually really good. It actually has pretty high uh, magic defense. And I actually will put it on a lot, or pieces of it at least, on uh, almost all of my char oh, characters when uh, I'm facing bosses with magic attacks. But... There's a rune there, and then that's it for in this area here. We can move forward. There's another puppy. Aha! Uh -huh. I could hit through it. You couldn't. So we're going to come through here. And we're not going to go straight ahead yet. We're going to come back to that instead. We're going to wait for this. We're going to jump on this. And the main reason is there's the big shocky guy up there. And uh, we're going to we're gonna go get a grace that's closer to this first. Jump off here. Whoop. Can you give me that? And then there's a grace that is right here. And quite honestly, for the first half of the Academy, we've essentially done pretty much everything. Uh, we've gone almost everywhere. There's one other spot really that we haven't gone and we're gonna go there now. So we're gonna ride this bad boy for a little bit. Um, I've looked around there is some stuff back in uh where is it that direction but i don't remember i think it was just like some smithing stones and there's like four or five marionettes i wasn't worth it i remember that i remember that much it was like ugh, it, it, it was not worth it but if you drop all the way down i didn't sit at the fire not the fire the thing crap I didn't replenish my stock. We drop all the way down. There's this thing. And this thing is oh, crazy. You don't want to fight it. You just you just run around it. And you grab this thing right here. And then you wanna run back up this way. Jump up these crystals. Because it's no, okay, uh, if you're me, you're gonna take a drink. Jump up these crystals. I love when I fat finger buttons. And get the lost ashes of war. From there, we essentially got everything in this area. There's, there's really not much else that we really want. Um, if you're a mage, you'll want to go back... To that like big purple shocky guy and defeat him. Um, I I guess I could go back and try to defeat him because there is there's an item near him as well. And then he gives every single time you defeat him without fail, he gives an item called uh, Gravity Well. And f the best that I can understand is oh man, I got seven K runes that I'm putting at risk. This is going to be interesting. 
I'll show you guys how to easily like swap around so you don't have to go to old Iron Maiden down there as well. Um, the best that I can tell is like it shoots and then as it goes forward it like pulls everything closer. So it's pretty cool. It's cool, but like I don't use it. It's a high level spell if I remember correctly and it takes a lot of FP and it's very niche. I haven't seen a reason to use it. And then that talisman that I got, I don't even think I'm wearing any talismans. It uh, makes it so that uh, you don't take fall damage whenever you uh, fall, which is nice. But if you would fall, a height that would normally kill you it will still kill you yeah this purple shocky guy is a little tough ow ow God, I love the poise damage on this. Yeah. There you go. Gravity well. <laughs> I don't have the intelligence to be able to shoot it and show you. And then you get a somber smithing so. But yeah, so that's that's pretty that's literally it for like the first half of the academy. It, that's essentially all that there is, right? And it's a uh, it's pretty pretty decent. Not not really all that bad. From here, there's a lot. Um, so sneak into this room. You get a conspectus scroll, and then also right here, you get a craftstone book. Um, and then there's a lot of enemies coming up, and there's some items. I don't know how you guys would want to approach it for a melee build, a me melee class where like a lot of these items, they, they won't have any fortuitous helpfulness to them. I don't know. If I want to spend my time really getting them, but I'll show you them anyway. So once you kill those three, uh, if you come up here, there's a chest back there. There's a big pot right there that will spin at you. Uh, that pot does activate, so be careful. You can actually... Oh, there you go. You can actually activate that pot and have it follow you down. And you can fight the pot away from all of them. So that you can take it down without alerting all of the mages. Okay. There we go. Oh, I thought he was turned around. So there's actually four mages here. So there's one in the back back there. Then there's three right here. And then there's more upstairs. And so like that chest is very heavily guarded. You know what? You know what? We'll get it. We'll get it. Screw it. I'm showing as much as I can. I didn't get it. <laughs> God damn it. I should have I should have backed up and healed. I was gonna try to kill that one and then heal, but uh this this area is difficult. You could also try the strategy that I always do where you like you use a, a kunai or a, a dart or something like that and hit them and pull them backwards and stuff like that. I I probably admittedly should have went with that first. 
a versus straight up just like trying to straight up attack them right out the gate but you know but we're actually so the reason why i say you really don't want to take this fight too often is we're actually right next to the clifford boss all right you know what There we go. It's a ritual pot. That's what it is. So if if, if you know what the ritual pots are for, because I, I, honest to God, I've never used a ritual pot in my life. If you know what it's for, and if you know if it's worth it, then please, by all means, let me know. But to me, I don't think it's worth it to do that. So... I should level up. What am I doing? Can I level up even? Yes, I can just now level up. Okay, let me do that. Because I'm going to I'm going to run through these guys and I'm not really going to kill any of them. I'm going to kill these first three just because they're like right here and you can't avoid them. But otherwise, I'm just going to avoid Ow. the rest. Actually, we might be able to slip through the these guys. So. You slip up here. And then you slip around here. And you got to be really careful. But right here is the fog wall. Or a uh, hidden passage, whatever you want to call it. And then in here, you get the spell Comet, which takes 52, I think, intelligence to be able to cast. But it it's one of the spells that you can actually, like, charge. And it's a freaking monster of a spell. And then up here, you can actually jump over and jump down into here. And then fall into here. And then there's a whole bunch of these little pot guys. And I just kill these little pot guys because if you don't, then they all wake up. And then it's really obnoxious. And I just don't feel like messing with it. So we're just killing all the little pot guys. But we get the Graven School Talisman. And that raises the potency of sorceries. So good for you astrologers out there. And then this opens us to a place where we don't want to be right now. As you can see. Ow. So, ow. Once you're done with that, you run back up here. Ow. Ow. That fog wall right there is Clifford. I call him Clifford. He has an actual name. I have no idea what it is. We'll be able to actually make the run a lot easier this time now that we're not going for the secret entrance and everything. So it, we'll actually be able to get there without problem. So now we just slip on by these guys. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, I hit the books. Yeah, if you hit those books, they uh, they hear you and they start shooting. So you just come right in, and then you got Clifford, Red Wolf of Radagon. I guess is what they call him. But he's just a red dog. Which is why I call him Clifford. He's a very mobile dog that uh, uses magic. Has a lot of 
similar attack styles to a Dark Souls 3 boss. I have a feeling I'm going to be on this boss for quite a bit. Ow. Ow. Yeah, this is going to take me a little bit. Oh, boy. I haven't actually faced old Clifford here with just pure brute strength before. I've always come in with, like, either bleed weapons or magic or something like that. So this is going to be a completely different way of fighting him. And it's going to take me a little bit to beat him, but... It's A, obviously possible, B, it's not all that bad in comparison to some of the other bosses that are in this game. Um, one of the biggest things with him is you you kind of just want to hit and move. I, I'm trying to stagger him. I'm pretty sure you can stagger Clifford, but uh, I can't be 100% certain. So, uh, I am trying to stagger him, which is probably my biggest downfall. Uh, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Also, I'm also fighting with very under-leveled demi-humans. And do keep in mind the sword he uses will break through and do damage through your shield because it is considered a magic sword oh jesus so it'll take some time but you'll kind of get them down um as with most bosses, if you do have a bleed weapon on hand, I 110% suggest trying the bleed weapon out, seeing if you can use the bleed weapon to uh, really whittle him down. That's actually what I'm going to do here. I also forgot that I have some golden seeds. I don't have enough for that. But we're going to go like this. And then we're actually going to go... like this because uh i'm gonna not nah, balls i'm going to uh try to bleed him so with the reduvia blade With the Reduvia Blade, if you use your skill, your left trigger, you can sit there and you can bleed or like crazy. And it really does not matter the damage that you do. You just start chunking the damage away like it's nothing. And it, it's actually really, really strong, especially against enemies like Red Wolf of Radagon, aka Clifford. The trick is being able to get it off. Ow. Anyway, I'll be back once I beat the, the wolf. I'll show the winning strat that I do. That way you guys can kind of see how I go about it and what I do so you guys can have that. And then we have a second half of the academy that we're going to do. And then I'm we'll call it there. So I'll see you once we're done with that.
Hey, there we go. And we get a memory stone. Ah, finally, he's down. Down for old county boys, as they say. So now with Clifford down, we come up to the point where we are actually getting frighteningly close to the second major boss in this game, which admittedly is, in my opinion, significantly easier than Godric. Once you know how to beat her, she's super easy. But that's gonna we're we're gonna keep her for a whole episode herself at, at anyway. Uh, but um, we have another whole section of the academy in that area right there. That's where we're gonna ultimately end up. But we have some items to pick up first. First, up here we got some pot boys. got some pot bros and uh in a in a mage mage no a mage no with a double head as it were you can't shoot me from there you silly You know, if the wall wasn't there, that would have been a fantastic ambush. But, you know, that wall got me so good. <laughs> uh, I was expecting the overhead swing for some reason. I don't know why, but I was. Um, but yeah, there's two items up there. They're not really hugely important, but, you know, it's... If we're getting everything, we're, we might as well get everything. We did miss one item back in the other area next to the astrolabe, but uh, it's it was like one of the living jar shard kind of not important kind of deals. There we go. We got a crack pot. Jump down here, and then if you did what I did, I mean, best thing to do is just it's literally right here. Just go back and reset at the grace. It. It's just easier. It saves you heals. It's right here. It's not like you killed anything. It's not like you're losing anything. If anything, you're gaining things because you're gaining your health back and resetting them so they're not trying to chase you or they're out of place. Um, from there, we're actually going to go straight to a pretty crazy route here. Um, so up here, there's those two guys that are going to cast magic at us. But also there's that doorway right there. We're going to rush right into the doorway as fast as we can. There's going to be a mage guy inside the doorway. Get that glintstone wet blade, which will allow us to put magical arm or ashes of war on to our stuff. These guys will slowly file in one by one. As long as you're patient, you should be able to pick them off pretty easily and if you're you know smarter than me at least uh, even that guy will slowly come to you and I think the mages will even start to come down to you if you wait long enough but we all know that king is not a patient man there we go So then, heck's that guy. Gonna come up here. Kill these guys. Save that guy from his ruin. Um, there is an item up here. I actually don't remember what this item is. I didn't mean to backstab him, but sure, we'll take it anyway. I don't remember what this item is, but... It's here, so we might as well get it. Eh, it's just a ruin. So if, if you don't want to get the rune, you don't have to. It's, it's not even a really good one. It's just 400 runes. But that's a quote-unquote shortcut. This is probably the worst shortcut in the game, in my opinion. But we're going to jump down here. Kill this guy. 
open up this door and this will be a shortcut for us and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna start on a journey of which I slowly lost my mind many a times before. So get that rune and it looks like you can jump down here and that's because you can. And I was playing with a friend of mine at the time when I, we first found this place. You can't come back here with your friend. It fog walls. So you have to legitimately come back here alone. Ow. Come on. Come back this way so I don't get hit by that guy. Come on. Stop jumping away from me. Ow. This is not quite going according to plan. No, you're not going to freak out. So... Behind here, there's this guy, gives you a rune, and then there's nothing else on the other side, so there's no point in going around it. And then you climb up, and then up here, you got some craziness that is of the umpteenth degree. Um, first and foremost, you got a flyer guy right there. As always, hit him down, he'll come down, he'll actually freak out right away, I think. Uh, you're broken. Oh! Right. He freaks out. Good. Uh, and then you got another flyer there and another flyer there. And then you got a mage there. And that's the double head mage. The double head mage is actually the stronger of the mages. But hit. Just bring them down one at a time. The mage will walk over, but I am fairly certain. Ow. Well, now it will. Because it will definitely hear this. I was going to say, I'm fairly certain it'll just walk away, but the dude stopped freaking out sooner than I expected. Well, you know, if I could stop missing my jumping attacks, that would be great. But take him down. Ooh, I got his legs. I pulled his legs off his body. Uh, he's naked now. Don't look at him. Take him down. And then that's it for enemies up here. There are some items up here. Uh, Right here. I think it's... Yeah, meteor bolts. Drop down here. And then a lot of people miss this. Every person that I have seen or heard play this game has missed this part. And I found it. You can jump across and make that. It might take a few attempts, but you can make it. You just gotta jump at the right time. And then this guy will come flying down. Yeah, you just knock him off the edge, really. What? What you want? Take him down. Him. And then these guys are just looking out into the nothing. Send them to what they're appreciating. You know, sometimes they're just appreciating the nothing, so they gotta go be sent to nothing, as I say. And then watch, because there is a gap. You gotta jump. And then there are uh, marionettes that drop from the ceiling. Just run straight for this and go right up the ladder. They'll attempt to attack you, but as long as you hold B and go up the ladder, by the time you get to the top of this tower, they will stop having aggro on you because they only go up at a regular pace. So just continue sprinting up this ladder. It takes a little bit. And if they don't, you know, if one might 
come up, you just take him down. You know, hit him as he comes off the ladder and just knock him down. That's all. But you just come up here, and then you got a chest. And you get a full moon crossbow. Oh, one actually fell off entirely. L lol. And now you might be thinking to yourself, King! We're trapped! Where do we go? Well, I'll tell you. Not, not down there. That will kill you. That's pretty. I actually really like the, the lightings and stuff like that. Like the blues coming through and cutting through the fog and everything. It's actually really nice. But the roof is right here. You just jump right over. Be careful when you jump over, but you just jump right over. Um... Then you come over, and then if you realize, this is actually the item that you saw when you fell from over there. That's the place where we killed the doublehead mage and the three flying marionettes with the spears. And then we fell down here, and I said, everybody misses this part. And that's where we jumped across. Then we just jumped down here, and then we jumped down here. And then we jump down here. And then we kill this guy. There's really nothing over there. I mean, I can show you guys. This guy isn't really too tough. I, I think there was like one item or something like that over here. Yeah. The golden rune. It, it's, it's really not worth it. If you want to get it, you can get it. But I don't really perceive it as worth it, in my opinion. But then you jump down here, come across here, and you grab this item. That's important. Imbued sword key is important. Then you jump across here, walk around here, you get a smith and stone. A little less important, but still pretty important. You come back over to here. Don't worry about those marionettes just yet. We don't have to have them come and uh, face their demise just yet. But we come into here. There are some crabs. Just quickly dispatch of them. And get your somber smith and stone four. Which is admittedly slightly more important. Because those are actually slightly more rare. Uh, somber smithing stones that, from what I can tell, are more boss weapon-esque over anything, so. Uh, they're definitely very helpful. But then, a very, very handy trick with these guys. Where are they at? Whenever they start getting close, right? They'll, they'll alert. They'll be like, Duh! Duh, there's a guy! Especially if you're like moving around or you like you do an attack. Oh, there's there's a guy. Oh, no. And then you, you throw a dart at him. And you're like, oh, no, there's a guy. Oh, I got to get him. Oh, and then they fall. Off. Oh, no, there's a guy. Are you going to walk right off? Oh, please walk off. Save me the dart. No, oh, there's a guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> easy then you jump across here and then you got to be careful because in this area you get ambushed quite a bit but we're almost done with this upper area section so there's a flying marionette right here that will come down and ambush you and i don't know why we came down here but yeah, he's there. You can kill him if you want. Look at this. I, I don't remember what he's there for, but he's there. Uh, there's an item in here that you can get. We'll actually be returning into there here shortly. We're not doing anything in here just yet because there's items on the other side. Uh, there's two flying marionettes up there. Let's see if we can pull one. Oh, we might be able to just pull one at a time. You ran into a window, you dum-dum. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, you're 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 freaking out. You're you're freaking out. There we go. So if you're careful, you can pull one at a time. And then you come over here, and he comes swooping down, and a uh, yoink us, and a. Uh, well, that's not what you want. Calm down. Calm down. Ooh, hey. Hey. Nice prank dance moves you got there. But, once those guys are dead, you can grab this last item. It's some magic grease, and you're good to go. Then, you come up to here. And you want to come over to this chandelier right here. So, come down over to here. Drop down onto this. And drop down onto this. Then grab this chandelier. Uh, grab the Academy Glintstone key. That is incredibly important. Right? And then you're going to drop down here. And go through here. Uh, chances are you probably aggroed one or two enemies. Seems like we aggroed old Blue Robe. Which is alright with me. Gasp! Oh, gasp! Oh, he's uh, he's full aggro. Okay. Ow! Bad. So you slowly dispatch at least that guy, right? And then you got this golden glowy crab. This golden glowy crab. God. Really? He's a pain to kill. If you have a big hammer, but he gives you the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. And if you're a mage, that's actually really good. It gives you a really, really big boost to your intelligence. Uh, you'll be able to have, like, a, a boost of, like, six or something like that to your intelligence. But then, come over to here. Backstab that guy. Dispatch of him. And then you kick that ladder. And if you look, we're actually in the chapel right at the beginning when we first entered into the academy where uh where we we just like ran right past all of the marionettes and stuff like that that were hanging on the walls and stuff but there's one more thing that we're gonna get before we're done exploring this section and that's down this hall and this guy right here sucks he's killed me many a times on my mage Ow. So his crossbow God damn it does a ton of damage. Don't worry, this is really the last enemy that we're fighting. So if you're like me and you're blowing your load, as they say. And there he goes. Give me your crossbow. Okay, perfumers. So this is the Azure's Glintstone Staff, which admittedly is not really the best staff in the game, but it actually makes it so that your casting time for spells is slightly quicker than normal. So if you are finding that you're casting spells a little slower, or it might be really good in PvP so that you can have an off casting spell. So like you have your normal like pew pew pew, it might be like pew pew pew, like a lot faster. So it's it's very interesting, very very noteworthy, worth looking into. But uh, once you get that, 
You just go back to the debate parlor. That's it. We have everything from that rooftop area that is 100% finished. We, we've finished the rooftop excursion. We got the full moon bow. We got the magic imbued key. And we got the, the staff, which are the three main things, including the ladder should we want it and then we got a whole bunch of runes so if you're back here and you're like me and you're pretty close to leveling up you can just use these runes and rest at the site of grace level up real quick that way whenever you're going into this next part you're not risking a whole bunch of runes you know what i mean uh 40 strength hell yeah so, there is another golden seed in this area. So, we explored everything up there. The next up is there's an Iron Maiden right there. You can see him right there. He's a douche. I hate killing him. He respawns. So, it's not worth killing him because he just comes right back. So, instead, what I have found is... You just sneak past them. You'd be a sneaky snake. You sneaky snake past these guys. You grab the golden seed from there. Then you got this. This guy is going to have a crab. It's a golden rune. It's not really all that great in my opinion. Uh, there's going to be another one on the other side. It's going to again be a, a rune. I don't see the appeal of doing the runes for the crabs. If you want to, you can, but I'm going to say instead, jump right down here and come across the sledge. Maybe the crab will uh, run off. No. Okay. So this is the craziness. Ow. Wow. I didn't die immediately. Good to know I can take a hit from a ball and be crushed before dying. So I will show you guys like the perfect point. So I always start from this one right here. Right? And then if you look, there's this flat section right here. This flat section is safe. Right? And then the next safe spot is right here at this line. And from there, you can literally just run straight up. We'll go through that soon. We're going to first get rid of the ball. So, we're going to sneak around here. We're not going to kill him yet. Alright, so up here and around here. Now, you can come over to here. And you can open... Uh, this a door and then if you come up here i'm 80 percent certain all you really need to do is kill the pumpkin head and the ball stops rolling but there's a dude just standing here you take out gandalf number one come over to here all over Gandalf number two. Alright, and then there's Gandalf number 3 over there, but we don't have to worry as much about Gandalf number 3 just yet. 
We'll, uh, we'll call over Pumpkinhead. And Pumpkinhead in this small of a space can be slightly problematic. I actually did make him fall into the hole one time, which was hilarious. Ow. 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 Oh, okay. Well, I'm down here. Admittedly, not a bad escape route. My phone is going insane right now. Holy crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bumpkin head. Wait. Hey, you remember that thing that I said about making him fall into the hole? Dude, you are flatter than a pancake right now. Ow. And there he goes. One day, the pumpkin head will give me his head again. I got it on my mage, I think. And I never got it again. But yeah, now the ball shall stop a rolling. At least I'm fairly certain. Just to be sure, we kill Gandalf number th three. And then over here, you get a weird headpiece. You get Glintstone Scarab. It actually raises like your intelligence stuff, but lowers some other things. Like, I don't know, it, it's weird. Then you get a Golden Rune seven there. Then if you look right next to the teleporters, and we'll travel to a new location. And the reason that that's the reason why we waited to teleport to the new location because there's no real teleport back to this uh like back to the academy there it's a one way teleporter, so stopping the ball actually makes the the stairs more of a shortcut than the um than the other way, in my opinion. And this area becomes pretty interesting. So if you end up actually like hitting any npcs without meaning to and they are mad at you this area you can actually come into here and as long as you have a, a specific item you can absolve it you also get gold sewing stuff and like you can talk to this turtle and he tells you some information about stuff and he tells you some lore and backstories and stuff like that it's pretty cool um you can give him scrolls if you want to learn from him as well um it you know it just a really really good like kind of slow down area versus everything that you've been doing and then you this is where you can get magic glint blade if you had not chosen prisoner and i bought it instantaneously for my uh, astrologer and there was no looking back i use it for almost every boss that i fight like the magic glint blade is so good for bosses it's amazing so and then you also got blessings boon and stuff like that so uh but yeah, now that we have that, we can go back to the debate parlor. And the only thing that's left is to fight the dude that was in the room that we snuck by. And the reason why we stuck, oh, snuck by him is he's tough. He's like a, a regular NPC kind of invader. But he's a normal enemy. And he does not respawn. So if we can kill him, it's essentially removes him from uh, as far as obstacles go and that will open up a clear clean quick path straight to ranala and that will allow for quick and easy reattempts at um trying the boss battle after uh you know all of this so Hopefully I don't die. But yeah, so as you can see, no more balls. I guess Pumpkinhead does respawn, but 
I don't know. The balls stop either way. Ow. Yeah, he he's really strong. And really quick. And he also eventually switches to his staff. Ah, it will almost indefinitely take a couple tries because this guy is almost as if you're fight facing another player. He he's almost programmed to play like a, a generated player. Uh, he rolls, he dodges, he continues attacking. He knows when to block. He'll actually parry you at times. Like it's it's a pretty interesting battle, uh, honestly. Like, knowing the mechanics to fight Renala now, I would almost call this guy harder than Renala. Which is kind of terrifying. <laughs> so let's let's try this again. If I can if I can just get it so that I can repost him more often than not, I'll be fine. Because that's what this character is all about. I gotta stagger. Yeah, uh, other than this guy, um, we have essentially covered everything that there is to cover. Oh my god, stop with the millions of attacks. Really, now you attack once? We've essentially covered everything, to my knowledge, of what is in the academy come on god damn it what i was rolling ah uh, here we go death spree <laughs> Yes! Oh, get wrecked! Oh, 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 point forwards! Get wrecked, you! Uh, yeah, thank you! Take a bow! Uh, just give me it. Alright, so that's... Oh, we finally did it! Oh, good lord! I did... I literally didn't even take a flask. That was actually a really quick battle. I just... I was like, I, I don't even care. I'm just going all in. It just, it's just all in. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> If we go up here, this right here is the door to the next big boss. And so this right here, I'm going to probably go back, redo my flask, and uh, come back. But this right here is where we will pick up our next guide video. We're going to kill Renala. She is the next rune, great rune holder, the next shard bearer, and uh, she has the secrets that she wants to share with everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Let me know if there was anything that I missed that you guys want me to go back and showcase in the comments below as well. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to have Elden Ring content coming out constantly for probably quite a while so make sure you subscribe and uh go out do something nice for somebody today and i will see all of you guys next time Peace, guys. before we go here i want to give a big shout out to the patrons um 
we got the Black TNT, Major Papa Chubbs, and Schmetter, all who are uh, patrons right now. And, you know, I couldn't thank these guys enough for the continued support. So thank you guys. And if you want to become a patron, check the link in the description below.